Hello and welcome to this short walkthrough where I am going to show you exactly how you can use your new WordPress Tag Seeder plugin. And basically you probably already have downloaded the, it on your computer. I will show you how you can install it on your WordPress where you want to use it and how actually you will use it in your benefit. Why is this, uh, why is this very uh, beneficial for you? Because it will help you to rank faster different types of content because it will add automatically different types of, uh, of tags without uh, without you having to go uh, through each post or through each page and adding the tags uh, manually okay now let's dive into into the walkthrough first things first what i want you to do is go ahead on your wordpress website log into your administrator dashboard and this is how your administrator dashboard should look like you will see that in the left side menu you have uh, an option which says plugins go ahead click on that option and a new window will open for you okay you will have a button here in the left upper part which says add new click on that button and the new window will open you will have a new button which says upload plugin click on that as well and you will have an option choose uh, choose uh, uh, file okay now what i want you to do is go ahead uh, on your computer where you have downloaded the plugin and i will uh, search for it directly here okay and let me just uh, have a look here okay this is the one click on the plugin from your computer choose open then press the button install now and this is it you have to see this piece of text plugin installed successfully that means it has been installed successfully and you will have an option here which says activate plugin you have to click on this option activate plugin and now if you look in the list with the plugins you can see that your new plugin is installed and activated okay uh, the fun part is that at the first sight you won't see anything different in your left side menu but if you'll go in the settings section from your menu you will see that the last option is wordpress tag seeder okay from here all the magic happens okay now let me show you exactly how it works <clears throat> so here you have some preloaded examples okay and basically uh, you have to read what is said below this field okay this text field here each line is a keyword set which can be separated by using comma the first element in the line is the tag so basically uh, what you can do here is add different uh, keywords and different tag that you want to uh, the different tags set of tags that you want to appear for that specific set of keywords uh, okay, for example, let's say that in the future you will create a lot of posts, okay, regarding uh, uh, regarding webinars, right? So the tag that you want to use, the main tag, is webinars. That should be your first uh, your first keyword from the line because your first keyword, as you can see here, is the tag. Okay, so webinars. Okay, now after the webinars keyword, which is the tag, you you have to put a set of keywords okay that basically you will use you think you will use in your posts in your titles in everything so that the wordpress tag seeder can identify the post where he has to add the webinars tag okay now let me show you as an example how this works so we have webinars let's say we have online uh, online training okay uh, we have online uh, no we have seminar okay we have uh, let's say training and that's about it okay now let me show you an example right so then you have some options here activate for case sensitive that means uh, it will identify if your letters are big or small okay activated for matching the whole word exactly okay that means that it won't take just parts of your word it will take the whole word or nothing activate for scan post title for keywords yes it will activate your it will scan your titles to see if they identify any of these keywords activated for auto tag new posts that means whenever you create a new post basically uh, it will uh, it will automatically scan them okay and add the right tags if it's necessary okay minimum matches in content so if they find one of the keywords in the content then it will add the tag and minimum matches in title that this is a second condition if you want to use so you should also have one of the keywords in your title if you have one in the content but you have none in the title and this is one it will not apply the tag okay that's why you have to think very carefully 
which is the filtering that you want to, to use for adding these tags, okay? More keywords, basically it will be more specific, less keywords, it will be more general and not so qualitative, okay? Depends on you. After you have these settings done and all the, uh, all the keyword sets here done, just press submit and you are done, okay? And obviously, if you already have uh, have posts created on your on your uh, blog, you just have to press the add the tags button from here. Okay, add tags, and it adds them automatically to the post it finds. Okay, now let me show you for our new example. Let me create a new post so you guys can see exactly how it works. All posts add new. Okay, webinar domination. Okay. And we have webinars, a webinar, let's start differently. A webinar is a training hold online or something like that, online, okay? Now let me publish our new post and let me refresh it. And you can see that automatically without me having to add any tag, Okay, it added webinars. Okay, very, very simple. This is how it works. And if you go to the settings section, WordPress tag seeder. Okay, and if you press the add tags button, you will see that instead of three new tags, it would have four. Okay, you can see four tag. So this is how easy it is to, to use it. It will be very helpful, especially if you want to create a lot of content. And if you don't want to go manually through adding tags all the time, it will save you a lot of time. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I hope you will make most out of your new plugin and we are looking forward to see you in our next videos with our newest plugins. Bye bye till then, it was Sorin here.